Hey guys, Abby here. How are you all doing today? Today we are going to talk about the 15 differences between reality and the things that you see in porn. Um, but first I would like to know, um, do, you, do you guys think that the things that you see happening in porn is like the end all be all to sexiness and this is how every live devil's tango it real person devil's tango should be or is um leave it in the comments let me know um you know what some of your first experiences with real versus not so real um what did you think was it did it live up to your expectations? Curious to know. Leave it in the comments for me. Because um, believe it or not, there are some major differences. And this is going to be your reality check. <clears throat> so, let's just get started with this. First things first, men, penises are not always nine inches long. In fact, the reality of that we've covered a few times in several other videos. Um, I believe the average is about six inches when it's erect. So to see a nine inch penis in porn not so much reality. That's more like the exception than the rule sort of thing. <clears throat> Number two. Most girls don't want a guy who's well endowed, believe it or not. Most feel larger penises are painful during the tango. And they would prefer the average size. Number three, in, just like in reality, again, we're going on, this is another size thing. In general, women don't care too much about penis size. They really don't. It's not a deal breaker. The obsession for size is most likely linked to what they see in porn um, and is not again realistic so there you have it <clears throat> number four on the flip side of that guys in reality most women do not look like the porn stars all bodies of all genders in real life are flawed in some way shape or form and that is one of really if you think about it the most awesome parts of the tango is you're not perfect and you're appreciating the beauty of the person you're with because they are different and not everyone is the same that's the reality Number five, <clears throat> the difference between reality and porn. The tango is often a lot more emotional than you see it in porn. There's passion involved and not just moaning and groaning to make it sound good. There's emotions in play. There's, you know, these implications have in real life you know even these lasting implications even have effect in real life even if it's just a fling or a one-nighter they still have some sort of emotional effect on you whether you admit it or not 
very much different from porn. Number six, <clears throat> the difference between porn and reality. There's more communication than in porn shoots. And that's versus reality. Reality has way more communication. Most women will guide a man on what they want and most men will ask for what they should or shouldn't do. Um, you know, it's not all choreographed like you see in porn. Um, you know, number seven, the real tango involves positions that feel best and not what looks best on a camera. In real life, women are con <clears throat> in real life, women are not contorting themselves on a guy and men aren't doing those crazy acrobatic tricks. They're just not. Sorry. Number eight, in reality, most women don't orgasm from vaginal penetration. Alone, that is. Some do, but not alone. Um, in real life, most women need other stimulation as well. Like, you know, clitoris, nipples, and other th things. Um, <clears throat> not just, again, um, penetration to reach the big O. That's a big difference. Number nine, the vast majority of women do not squirt. Only 6% of women squirt on a regular basis and typically need to have their G-spot massaged. So if you don't make her squirt, don't feel bad. It's not as common as you think. Number 10, big difference. Real life tango can be gross. <laughs> Let's, fade it. Let's face it, it's sweaty, it's smelly, and pretty gross at times, you know? Farting, queefing, and other weird things going on. Porn edits these things out. Not real, folks. Number 11, though it isn't always the case, the real tango can be awkward. Maybe you farted. Maybe it was really awful. Maybe you're ashamed of a bad performance. Depending how you navigate, the awkwardness can make or break your connection. Number 12. VIP room parties at nightclubs almost never have giant orgies going on in them. <clears throat> how many times have you seen people doing the tango in the middle of a nightclub in reality? True story. Unless you're going to some sort of swingers club it's not happening normally. Number 13. In real life, most women get turned on by misogynistic pickup lines. Wrong. Women do not like this and will most likely break up with you and tell all their friends. Don't make a bad name for yourself. Us women, we do talk. Um, number 14, tango isn't always spontaneous. So odds of a woman, woman tangoing with the pizza boy or plumber aren't very high. Unless, of course, this is a, you know, fantasy or an acting out with your significant other your partner and last but not least real sex requires breaks in between sessions constant hours of pounding away like the porn show isn't reality again remember the editing so where do we go with all this just remember there are some big differences between 
fantasy, which you see in porn, and reality. You know, do you agree with any of these? I do. I feel as though these reasons, um, really, amateur porn is gaining more popularity because it's more relatable to real life than the production type porn. <clears throat> I mean, would you agree with me on that? You know, don't believe all the porn hype people. This is all I've got for you today. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this shed a little light on it for you. And we will see you guys real soon. Bye, everybody.